Hello, I'm Carl. And I'm Chris. We're here from the Learning Technologies Department at College to show you some of the useful technology that we have here and how you can access it. So you're going to see a lot of the things you're going to be using day to day. And don't forget you can use all these things with your phone and your tablets. And Chris, later on, will be showing you about how to access the Wi-Fi. So get your phone ready because we're going to show some slides. You might want to take a picture of the information. We're also going to have some really useful apps that you can use. So let's get started with how you log on to the IT systems. All the college's IT systems can be accessed from inside the college or from outside the college and on your own devices by going to the Warwickshire College website, warwickshire.ac.uk, or just Google Warwickshire College, and then on the right-hand side here, click on the internet page. You'll then come up with a login. The first time that you log in, you'll need your card. And on the card on the bottom left-hand side, that's your username or your student ID. Your first password is made up of two things. Firstly, you need a four digit day and month of birth. So if your birthday was the 7th of November, you'd put in 0711. We then add to this the PIN number. In this case on the card, it's 5074. We put those together and then you have your password. Back at the login screen, once you've entered your student username and your password, click on sign in. And if it's the first time you've logged in, it'll ask you to change your password. After you've changed your password, you can then continue to the Warwickshire College intranet page. The intranet is the college's portal to all the IT systems. On the top right hand side, we have the menu bar. The first option is Google Mail, uh, the next one along Calendar, and then we have Google Drive, which is a place that you can store things and create materials. We then have access to library systems. Google Plus is a social network. We then have Google Books. Your timetable, which will be updated as classes are updated throughout the year. We then have Google Classroom, which will contain your class resources and activities. And finally, we have the electronic ILP, which is your individual learning plan. On the right hand side we have three dots and by clicking on that it brings up all of the college systems. If a particular system is important to you we can move it to this top bar. So if for instance the bistro menu here was important we could click and hold that, drag it up and then place it somewhere and you'll see that it appears in this top menu. On the main bit of the page we have here the college news. This will be updated as new news stories come out. We then have social news that you might find important and then a notice board where you can put for sale adverts or information that other students might find interesting. To post your own information on any of these boards, click on the plus button here. With your college account you get email. Your email address is your username at student.warwickshire.ac.uk you might be getting emails from your college lecturers, from your PLA, and some of the automated systems we have at college, such as Google Classroom. If you'd like to forward these messages to your own email account, click on the cog, go to Settings, and then find Forwarding and Pop at the top. Click on Add Forwarding and add your email address. This is Google Drive. It's where I upload and store files. Like my stories. My recipes. My class presentations. My photos. And my super obsessive spreadsheets. But Drive is more than just storage. I can create. I can share. And, and we, we can, can edit, edit at, at the same, same time. time. So wherever I go, my stuff goes with me. I've got everything I need. Whenever I need it. In Drive. Google Classroom is a place where lecturers can update you on information provide resources, assignments and questions. To join a class, click on the plus button towards the top right. Enter a code that the lecturer has given you and once you're into the class you'll see that there's three tabs Stream, Classmates and About. On the Stream tab this is where the day-to-day -day information appears and new posts by the lecturer uh, will be uh, listed at the top. You can also get here Assignments, Questions and resources for the class. On the Classmates tab we have a list of students. You can email people by clicking on the three dots and choosing the email option. On the About screen this is where we'll find 
lecturers that might be teaching on the programme on the left hand side and additional teaching resources. You can also update other people on Google Classroom by going onto the Stream tab and then clicking the plus button. You then can create a post which your other fellow students will be able to see. If you'd like to navigate around the system, click the three lines on the top left and here you can go right back to the start by clicking Courses. You can see a list of upcoming things for your programme by clicking on Calendar. If you'd like to see all the assignments and questions that have been set so far, you can click on Work and here will be a list of all the courses that you're on and you can navigate quickly between them. If you need more help or information on how to use any of the Google tools that includes email, drive and other docs, you can use the tech help option. To use the tech help option, click on the button in the top right hand corner and out will pop a menu. These menu items will allow you to follow tutorials and will also take over your screen, like the example one here. The Drive interface provides you with tools to help manage your files and who has access to them. We'll now go through a quick overview of what the component It is really useful, so do use it, and if you need any help, contact us. Whilst you're here, you might also want to print. To do this, we have lots of MFDs across the college. MFD stands for multifunctional device and will allow you to not only print but scan and copy as well. They look something like this. To log in, you'll have a screen that will ask for your username and password. That is the same as logging in as a, to a college computer. Once you've logged in once, you can also make your student card connect automatically to this machine over here. To print from your own devices or to print online, we also have this thing called FlexPrint. You can find FlexPrint by going to the college internet page. It will look something like this. When you've put jobs on here, you should have a list that you can print off to. You can do things like print from the web by uploading a file, printing on your computer by downloading a driver, emailing to print.warwickshire and printing from there, cloud print for Chromebooks. So once you've sent something to the printer, you will also need print credit for this. You get a set amount as you start as a student and you'll be informed how much you get. But if you need to add any more, you can do this through the library or you can go to the intranet. Once you click on here, it will take you to a page and you follow the instructions on the page and you can print through using your card. Okay, so this is the really important part. Let's get you onto Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi college is called Edgerome. There are a few things you need to do to get connected. The first is make sure from all the lists of Wi-Fi you select the right one. And that's the one that says Edgerome. This is the same on a phone, a tablet or a laptop. I've just got an example of a phone for you. The next thing you need to do is put your details in. So if it asks for a username and password, your username is always your student email address. Your student email address will be your student number at student.warwickshire.ac.uk. This is really important because if you can't remember this, you won't be able to log in. Your normal password will be the college login password. So for any of the computers or anything else, that is the password you need to use. If you're connecting from a phone, it's slightly different. You'll see I've got some other options. You need to have this PEEP set from the list and the rest of the options set something similar. Leave the anonymous identity, you don't need to put that in. If you can't see these settings, scroll down because sometimes they can be hidden in different phones. Now this will be the same for most phones including iPhones, Android and others. That's it. Hopefully you should now be connected and you can get onto the Wi-Fi. Good luck. Did you know you can also use your tablets and phones? There's apps for that. You can go over and get Drive, Classroom, Docs and Email straight from the App Store and Google Play. Go and grab them today and you can do your work on the go. So we hope our insight into the IT systems is useful. If you need support and help on trying to log onto the computers, uh, visit the libraries where they'll be able to help you and also change your password if required. And if you're still stuck, you can always find IT services. Remember, we'll be on your side at any point.